Tomorrow night, cyclists in the East Bay will don black armbands and in a funeral-like procession, take part in a ride of silence in honor of riders killed. And among those being remembered is a beloved Bay Area sports figure, Greg Knapp, who died in July after being hit by a car. It has been an arduous 10 months for his family. His widow sat down with me to talk about his loss and how she's trying to make his death a teachable moment for every driver. I was upstairs getting ready to have friends over and I got a Nixle report from local PD on my phone. Charlotte Knapp vividly remembers the phone alert that changed her life. Every fiber of my being, I knew it was him. And it was. And she struggles with the momentary error in judgment made by a stranger that broke her heart. How can something so, some small, simple act of distracted driving cause so much damage and chaos? So he started his NFL career with the Niners. On July 17th, her husband, Greg Knapp, a veteran of the NFL and at the time the assistant coach with the New York Jets, was struck by a 22-year-old driver while cycling in San Ramon. Knapp, an avid rider, was in the bike lane when he was hit from behind. He never regained consciousness, you know. It was horrible. We had, it just was, I mean, I, and I remember every detail, and, and as we're talking about it, you know, I feel every hair on the back of my spine stand up. The 58-year-old died five days later, leaving behind three daughters, a wife, and a life filled with love and admiration. He was so present with people. And he just, I don't know, he had this zest about him that was just infectious. Now Charlotte is doing what her husband did with so much passion, teaching, using her painful experience to raise awareness about the danger of distracted driving. Every time you, you glance at your phone or reach for it or scroll through a playlist in the car, you know, you remember that there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there who have been victims of distracted driving. Lives have been lost unnecessarily, and every single one of them was preventable. And while she's now on a mission to remind people of the tragic way her husband died, she hopes they'll also celebrate the way he lived. He loved big. He lived well. She loved her husband. Now, the district attorney concluded that the inattention by that 22-year-old driver was the primary cause of the collision that killed Nab, but that it didn't rise to the level of criminal culpability. By the way, that ride of silence will take off from Akalani's High at 7 p.m. tomorrow night.